For the compare done, you can use your favorite dry fly hook. Here, I'm using a Fulling Mill FM5050 in size 14. And we're gonna use some Vivas 10 aught thread in olive. Now we can get this hook in our Wolf Indiana Atlas vise. And we'll get this thread started about a third of the way back from the hook eye. We'll just lay a nice thread base down all the way to the hook bend. And now we can tie in our, our CDL tail. Don't need too many fibers. Here I probably have a few too many, but really just four fibers or so is fine. So I do like to tie those in and then be able to with some a couple loose wraps and pull that to length before really getting that tied down and coming in here and trimming those butt sections off and coming up to that initial tie-in spot. Now we can pick out a small clump of this Comparadon deer hair. And we can get it clipped from the hide. Now we can get those tips in one hand and use our dubbing brush, our dubbing comb, to get out any under fur or shorter fibers. This compared on hair generally doesn't have very much of that. Once we get that all cleaned out, we can go ahead and get this in a hair stacker. Now that we've got that hair all stacked, we're going to take this hair out a little bit different than your normal elk hair wing. We're going to actually grab the tips of that all that hair with my right hand and then come and grab the butt ends with my left hand. Here you can see that small clump of Comparadon deer hair with those tips all aligned, ready to get tied in with those tips pointing towards the hook eye. Now that we got our Comparadon hair all picked out and stacked up, we want a wing that's about a hook shank, a hook shank in length. Try to be able to grab that about as close as possible. And you can see those, those tips can be a little bit hard to see, but that's about where we want it. So now we're just going to take a loose pinch wrap, another loose pinch wrap, So now that our hair is the length that we want, we're just going to come in here, have the hair a little bit towards our side of the hook. I'll do one loose pin strap, another, and then pull down. You know, that thread tension is going to pull that hair a little bit to the other side of the hook. And just keep taking some wraps until that hair doesn't move on you. So then we can wrap back. One thing to watch out for, 
I tend to get into my tail a little bit and start messing up my tail, especially when I come here and trim this off at an angle. I'm going to trim those butt sections out at an angle so that we can tie those down and out of the way nicely. But just make sure you didn't mess your tail up. So before I get those butt sections all tied in nicely, I like to come back up here and make sure all of these are tied up how I want to. It can be kind of hard and I'm probably all thumbs right now, but kind of pull those hair fibers back and get some good wraps. Good wraps in front and then some in back to lock, lock that wing up. You can get them come in with your fingernail, kind of get those pushed around. And then I'll start with touching turns, getting these butt sections secured. All right, our next material is gonna be some dry fly dubbing. Here I'm going with bluing olive. I'm gonna make this a small little uh, BWO comparison. But any, any dry fly dubbing will work great. So we're just gonna use very little dubbing. We don't wanna build up a lot of bulk and in our fly, especially towards the back of the fly. Just make sure that our first wraps don't mess with our tail. You might have a little bump there from that uh, hair where you cut it off. The thing is, on the underside of the fly, you're not going to see that. And that's what the trouter are seeing. Now that we're up by the this hair wing, try to not uh, try to not trap a bunch of fibers. I might have caught a couple. I've got a nice dubbed body. We can come in here, get that whip finish. Now we've got that body dubbed nicely. We can come in here, get a nice close whip finish, trap a couple fibers. Trap a few fibers here and there just to 
make things interesting. really not that big of a deal and then you can just kind of make sure that wing is is splayed out how you like it you can kind of manipulate that a little bit and trim out any straight dubbing fibers that are annoying you. And then there you have a Comparadon. We'll get this off of the vise quick so you can see how that hair wing ended up splaying around. The secret is definitely that Comparadon hair. So grab some materials, tie some of these up. Thanks for watching.